Namaste everyone, my name is Yamini and welcome to my channel Lavi Satvik where I share wellness videos inspired by yoga and Ayurveda. All my videos are made with the purpose of helping you achieve a balanced, simple and satvic life. In this video, we are going to talk about the Ayurvedic perspective on alcohol. In the modern world, alcohol is a part of social gatherings, celebrations, professional events, weddings, and so on. Now, alcohol is a personal choice, and this video is not a judgmental video. In Ayurveda and yoga, we always focus on mindful habits. And, and through this video, I want to help you to make a mindful choice when it comes to alcohol. And this is why I'm sharing the Ayurvedic perspective on alcohol. As per Ayurvedic principles, we categorize everything that we find in this universe into three categories called Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Vata is symbolized by the characters of air and ether. So it's light, dry, cooling and always moving. Pitta is symbolized by the qualities of fire and water. That means it's hot it's fiery and kappa is characterized by the qualities of water and earth. That means it's stable, it's grounding, it's heavy. Alcohol, as per this Ayurvedic definition, has pitta and vata qualities. That means it can be heating and it can also dry out the body. Alcohol, as per Ayurveda, impacts all three doshas. So it will impact you if you're a vata dosha, pitta dosha or kapha dosha. If you're not aware which dosha you are, please take the free dosha quiz so that you can understand which is the dominant dosha in you. Let's now try to understand how alcohol can potentially imbalance these doshas. What are the signs to look out for to understand if alcohol is impacting you and causing imbalance in your health. Alcohol can dry out the vata types. This can lead to mental imbalances such as anxiety, depression. It can also cause acidity and also poor digestion. For the pitta types, alcohol will aggravate the pitta. So this is going to lead to excessive heat in the body causing irritability, heartburn, aggression and also the desire to drink more alcohol, anger and this could also impact the digestion of the pitta dosha by causing inflammation. For the kapha dosha, alcohol will lead to brain fog, it will cause more laziness, heaviness and it can also lead to weight gain. As per Ayurveda, alcohol is definitely made to be avoided in the day-to-day -day life as it is a toxin. Please note that Ayurveda does use certain herbal alcohols when it comes to treatment of certain medical conditions. But this is not to be confused with the alcohol that you would be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. So how can we improve this toxic relationship with alcohol? Step one is to understand more about yourself and where your desire to drink alcohol comes from. So do some journaling and self-reflection and try to understand if it's linked to maybe a feeling of celebration, maybe a feeling that makes you let loose a little bit, maybe it's social pressure, maybe you're rebelling against some system. So try to understand really what is your driver behind drinking alcohol. And secondly, here are some really good tips that you can use to improve your relationship with alcohol. Number one is choosing wisely. Remember within alcohol also there can be alcohol which are more intense than others and they will have a di different impact on you. Also remember that the quality of alcohol matters and if you're consuming cocktails for example also remember that there are other substances in that drink like sugar. So you could not only be having alcohol imbalance, but also imbalances caused by sugar. So choose very wisely what type of alcohol you're drinking, if of course you cannot absolutely avoid alcohol. The second tip is moderation. 
it's always better to be in moderation than to have excess. And of course, it's always better to not drink alcohol at all. But again, if you absolutely need to drink alcohol or you feel like drinking alcohol, try to drink in moderation and not go over maybe one or two glasses. Also try to hydrate as much as possible. As we said, as per Ayurveda, alcohol will really dry out your body. It's dehydrating. The more water that you will drink, the more you will help your body to hydrate. Again, remember when you are consuming alcohol, this is a toxin. So your liver needs to work double hard to remove the toxin out of your body. So help your liver with drinking less alcohol and drinking more water. The third tip I can give you is timing. When you drink alcohol does matter. So if you drink alcohol in the evenings, your body does have better capacity to eliminate it out of your body. Please try to drink alcohol only after eating some food. Otherwise, the impact is more severe to your body. And again, all these tips are there if you really cannot avoid drinking alcohol. I would really recommend you to try to stop drinking as much as possible. But if you cannot, drink in moderation, hydrate, drink after eating some food. The fourth suggestion that I can give you is balancing spices. So as we said that alcohol has the qualities of being dry, if you mix it with spices like cardamom or ginger, it could help to balance a little bit the drying qualities of alcohol. This is just a little Ayurvedic tip that might help you to balance a little bit the quality of alcohol and the imbalance it can cause you. And the final tip is especially for women. For women, remember, we are different than men and alcohol does have a different impact on men and women. This is scientifically proven and also alcohol has a different impact based on your age, your demographics that you come from. So each person is very different and for women particularly, alcohol does impact your hormones like the luteinizing hormone. So please be careful when you drink alcohol, especially during ovulation and of course during your periods. So the ideal time for women, if you need to drink alcohol, is just after your periods and before ovulation. That's the time maybe you can have a few glasses here and there. Again, the best is not to drink, but you, if you have to drink, that's a good time. And for women, this is called cyclic living, that is trying to live mindfully aligned with your cycle. If you're interested more in cyclic living, I have linked the details to my cyclic living course and this amazing philosophy that will really help you fall in love with your periods and lead a more balanced and beautiful life as a woman. So we spoke about the Ayurvedic perspective on alcohol. What are the qualities of alcohol as per Ayurveda? We spoke about self-understanding, understanding what your dosha is, understanding what your relationship is with alcohol and if alcohol is causing imbalance in you. We also spoke about a few tips on how to improve your relationship with alcohol. And now, finally, I want to talk about what you can do if you want to break up with alcohol. So this is great news. If you want to try to reduce your alcohol consumption or maybe completely stop drinking alcohol, there are a few substitutes that you can have when you're in a social setting or even when you're by yourself and you feel like having a drink. The number one is quite uh, well known these days. It's kombucha. It's a fermented drink. I do recommend kombucha to everyone. However, you need to be careful since kombucha has is a fermented drink. It is. It has probiotics, but drinking too much of kombucha could make your gut a bit sensitive. So be careful about not drinking it every day. A second great substitute is iced tea. So you can make herbal iced teas at home. Just go out there and buy any tea that doesn't have caffeine in it, and you can infuse it with cold water or soda water, and that's a great substitute. 
A third grade substitute is also making a concentrate of maybe ginger, any fruits. You can try to make it at home, maybe mix some herbs, ginger, and any fruit or spices that you like and make a concentrate with that. And then you can add sparkling water or water in that concentrate and maybe top it up with some basil leaves so it looks like a mocktail and you can enjoy that. Of course, you always have coconut water, water and fresh fruit juices that can be a great substitute to alcohol because they not only hydrate you, they also give you the nutrients that you need. So remember, when you're drinking alcohol, you are putting toxins into your body, you're giving your liver a lot of hard work to do, and you're not adding any nutrients, you're also dehydrating your body. So yes, ideally, try to build habits that will nourish your body, which will give you the nutrients that you need, and it will support your internal organs, body and mind, rather than creating more work for them. If you're intrigued now by the Ayurvedic way of living, especially in the modern lifestyle of the modern world, I have created also a special course, especially on that Ayurvedic living in the modern world. I have put the link below and you have those two courses to go and sign up for Cyclic Living or Ayurvedic Living in the Modern World. And I hope this video has been useful for you to question and to reflect on your relationship with alcohol and also understand a little bit about the Ayurvedic perspective on alcohol. Thank you so much for watching.